<laughs> hello everyone welcome back to my channel and for those who are new here i'm mona i reside in the countryside of kenya in kisi today i'm going to list down a few of the businesses i've been doing here in the village and also i'll add some of them that i've seen that are very good if you're living in the village yeah guys so let's go straight into it so guys starting any of these businesses in kisi town or in the village or the nearest market that you live in uh, near the village will cost lesser because it's affordable and you don't need uh, more or a lot of capital so to say capital and there is a fewer permit requirements so you can go ahead and become your own boss but please and i repeat it please guys if you happen to want to do your businesses around your own area mostly in the village because a lot of people from your community are your relatives or it's a small community please don't do your businesses around your village area so it's better you go to the market the rarest market if it's like for me i used to do it like for me i did it in kisi keumbu market uh, during the since i didn't have uh, enough capital to to open to rent a business shop so i used to go on tuesdays and fridays and i pay the city council it's a, just a little bit if you get the money you'll tell them to come back later so it's better than selling your things around your own area because guys i tried it here that's why i'm telling you in the village where i live and i learned the hard way and guys i promise you if you start it far away from your own area it's better that way you can even if you continue and be successful you can go to town or you can be going to to rent a place in the daraja the nearest uh, market so if you start of get a sustainable income and you'll be okay guys i promise you so the first uh, business i did was was mitumba business i used to sell uh, baby clothes second hand baby clothes i used to buy the first camera when i was in mombasa but when i came here because it's a different weather i bought medium bales so yeah and even if, if you love selling such a uh, kind of uh, clothes the mitumba or the new ones you can have also a boutique because uh, most people here they go to daraja very early in the morning and buy uh, and pick the first camera clothes from the sellers who sell in the the raja market so yeah and if you are in Mombasa, congo yeah. so yeah because the ranjabili market you can go and get cheap mitumba clothes and some boutiques in town are very good and that is a good example guys you can also do that but me as for me i didn't go to the raja to pick clothes i used to go and buy um I used to buy bales from Mombasa. Yeah. So if you want to start a business for opening bales, you can contact me and then I'll give you the name of that company that I buy my bales from. And they from they are very nice, but you know bales, <laughs> sometimes it's luck or not. It's like you're gambling, but it's a good it's good. It's a good business. The second one, since I like photography or videography, and I'm a YouTuber too, I used I was being called for occasions, some different occasions, but mostly to funerals, cause most people here hold funerals. I don't know people. Most people who hold uh, parties here have not been long here, so 
you if you are happen to be here and you love videography photography you have a camera everything you can also start this because we live in a digital world where photos and videos are part of everyday interactions in social media yeah and there has been a rising demand for quality media and it's also opening for new possibilities in the world of photos and videos so guys this is also an added advantage if you love doing this if you so i will talk on this topic of photography you can also do graphic design and social media marketing yeah because there is a market for professional graphic designers including social media influencers and brand endorsement partners some of these things they are here also so if you love this do, doing this you can also start a youtube channel and from there you can continue with it and some of them some of the services which are ready in the market and they will pay very well if you are efficient and you have everything if you have a like photocopying printing scanning or web design are also creative you can also start that if you have a cyber cafe you can include that in your shop so and there are also people who freelance on this area mostly the web design and the graphic designer so yeah guys so those are the works that i've been doing here in the village and they are good so let me include the other businesses that i've seen people doing here and some of the people i've interacted with like selling there are ladies who sell bananas they come to various to the villages interior villages and purchase bananas from the garden you can also sell if you have a shamba with full sugarcane or avocados you can also do that and then go to the market and sell it for people yeah guys so you can also another the fourth thing you can start a food store uh, which sells organic food because people here love organic food so if you are selling organic food and it's very it's prepared very nicely and very clean and you can put in small packages or you can just carry it in and door and then you go and sell at in the market you can be selling there some of them they sell bananas matokes cooked matoke others sell um, what else others sell juices you can sell boiled eggs smokies uh, mitu, mitura mitura but mostly they sell at night around six here and then there's this other thing i'm forgetting sugarcane i've said and you can also start a cereal business selling maize uh, cereals like such things so food is part of life and therefore a sustainable business idea all around the year also the other thing is you can join the transport sec sector as a motorbike rider or an insurance agent or you can be even a bus conductor yeah guys you can do all this if you are a driver you can go to uh, companies like Enercoach, Transline you can go and search for work there so guys if you have a marketing skill as excellent marketing skills you can also be selling the insurance policies which is still a well-paying opportunity for those with the market the excellent marketing skills because uh, many students and fresh graduates living in Kisi town can try becoming insurance policies policy marketers because this is a good thing and there are no entry requirements provided for you to reach for your target for a considerable commission so and the raising population has really has really created a huge demand for commuting services provided motorbikes by motorbike riders which is a highly promising and paying jobs for several youths because most here most most youths that I've seen here, they are young youths who have finished their form four, and others are class eight dropouts 
or not even drop out some of them their parents lack a school fees for them to go to a high school so they decide to start earning by learning how to use the motor to ride the motorbike from the mat motorbike and they become very good uh, riders so yeah you can get a small joint and open a wines and spirits guys or a bar so if you have good capital you can invest in the service industry uh, like because mostly those with a weakened ritual can also flock at your bar with thick wallets in the exchange for pleasure and entertainment. So I promise you if you are good in entertainment and your place is very clean and you have good service, people will flock. They are kissy people love having fun, guys, I tell you. Have a bakery. If you are good at baking, you can attract most of these customers because people... And residents of Kisi love throwing lavish birthdays, celebrating major events in life, including marriages and funerals. So after that, they go and party. So if you have a good bakery, good way, a place which you can sell all sale wines and spirits for wines and spirits, you can do that. So this is a profitable business ideas in town. So if you're living in town or you have good money or capital, you can start with those things small small you can start step by step and then you will soon be you can grow from there you can also open a milk bar outlet people here and but you can sell at the market because around the village here people buy from houses people come and bring from their houses you can go and pick them yeah you pay monthly here but in, in the market, you can open a milk bar outlet. People will be buying milk from there. And please don't add water because they leave it. They better just don't drink. Take tea if you have selling uh, milk that has been added water. So other examples include sailor shop, tailoring shop. So if you are good in doing tailoring, yeah. Yeah, fashion design, you know, the latest fashions of dresses, materials like that. You can sell the materials plus that, um, plus sewing, if you have, you're good at it. So, Mpesa shops or a garage, if you, ha if you are good in mechanic, you can also open a garage, a car wash, gas refillings place. You can have say, be selling charcoal, shoe repair, all those things. They don't need so much capital. You can start with that. And then those with the hospital. Even you can go to a vocational school and study plumbing. It's very cheap here in the village. And most, uh, most uh, polytechnics, there are government polytechnics. You can go there and they offer, for, they offer free. For three months you can do plumbing electricals which and you can easily learn you can easily learn while paying deals and contracts For example, you can see the talented Kisi artists such as Babuji, Mbarambamba, and who else? There's this new upcoming upcoming kid I met him recently. I met to interview him. His name is Engera. They are very good music, and people. these people have proven that Kisi people love entertainment, guys. So if you have a with a, if, if you are you have a passion for entertainment, you can go ahead with your dreams. So don't hold back your dreams. Just do it. Whenever you start, everything will turn out well. Educational skills. You can also do a dressing, such things. Kazi mkono in Alipa. Even you can see in the states abroad, those people would know how to do. Kazi ya mkono, nalipa sana, so, such things, mechanic, all those things you can go and study. 
another one is you can express your talent as a musician if you are digital blogger i've said that a dj actor comedian i've met so many young youths uh, who knows who knows how to sing they are very good actors comedians but they don't have uh, they don't know where to start so you can just start with your phone or yeah uh, something like that last but not least you can get if you are if you are if you love people do digging contract in digging if you love digging you can do that as part of your income you can go to various chambers and you dig and you'll be get paid just immediately you get paid you, you finish your contract you are given your money so guys it's also you can buy land in kisi kisi is a very fertile land so if you buy land from there i guarantee you will harvest very good nini you'll harvest a large amount of crops and you'll get going if you don't like uh, digging or cultivating from a shamba you can erect rentals offices or become a real estate broker but in kisi the real estate industry is not yet saturated because when it comes to classy housing facilities with enough parking space access to clean water and reliable security uh, that i won't say a lot because i've not experienced a lot so but if you are interested with uh, being a real estate broker you can go around town area so yeah so guys i hope you've learned one two or two things and you can also become a broker for use cars is real estate properties without a start without having a starting capital so such things you can do all this the digging with, with contract day for digging digging also that you don't need to start to have a capital because people do it here they call it a conda if you know how to pluck tea tea leaves you can do that also so guys hope you've learned one to two things and hope you enjoyed it and some of you will start some of this business i've said if you are a good cook you can also make small uh, samosas it doesn't matter if it's uh, as meat you can also put because most people here have not seen that they love meat per se sana so you can put pojo grams green grams you can put that one of potatoes if they are cheaper you can do that and people are selling you can cook mandazis chapatis around the market area and a bet guys you can also have a restaurant selling only core tea and mandazis or chapatis or um, yams you can also sell guache that is sweet potatoes yeah people love organic things here guys so bye for now and see you on the next video bye